Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Chopper here to break down a big Wednesday NBA slate. And as you guys come in, do me a big favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then leave a comment below to let me know whatever it is you think about my bets for today. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you have questions? Or there's other thoughts you have about the slate that I didn't hit on? Let me know all that below in the comment section. And uh, wrapping up or recapping, I should say, yesterday's slate had two bets. They went one and one. One of them ended up being a really good bet. One of them, a really bad bet because John Conchar under five and a half rebounds. He finished with just one. So that bet won very easily. And then I quit and grind for under 10 and a half points. He had 11 at halftime. So that one lost very easily. So one and one, fairly neutral day. But uh, one of the bets won very easily. One of them lost very easily. We're about to break down a lot more bets for tonight because tonight's slate uh, much bigger in terms of games and the amount of options we have relative to yesterday. Also, if you guys want access to our premium betting Discord, one week free access by clicking on the link below. I could bring you guys any kind of breaking news, any additional bets I have. I'm dropping those in the Discord channel and adding everybody whenever there's any kind of urgent news that I think is going to be creating any sort of line movement or creating value. So no risk to yourself. One week free trial by clicking on that link below. And the price of our betting channel, it's going to be going up after the start of the new year. So if you guys have been considering getting in, you want to get in now because the old price is going to be grandfathered in. But if you wait until the start of 2023 to get in, the price is going to be doubled. But once again, click the link below if you want one week free access. But let's talk about tonight's slate. These are my favorite bets of the day. For my first bet of the day, I like plus money on John Collins to have over 0.53. So we're only looking for John Collins to make one three. And He's working his way back from injury. So last night, he made his return to the lineup, only played 20 minutes for the Hawks. But here's the good news. What Collins said to the media earlier was that he expects his minutes restriction to be raised for this night's game and then also going forward. So I think we're looking at 24 to maybe 28 minutes for John Collins as he starts to get closer to playing full minutes. And as is, he's a guy who's averaging close to a three per game for the season. John Collins averaging 0.7 threes which makes me think that when the line is 0.5, but plus money on the over, it's a little bit too low. It shouldn't be plus money on the over. Prior to John Collins getting hurt, he had made at least one three in eight of 13 games leading up to the injury. So he's doing it more often than not. And once again, plus money bet on the over. And we have him projected for one three today. So I think the line here is a little off, especially when you consider that it's plus money on the over because we have John Collins making a three more often than not in this game. So first bet of the day, as long as it's plus money, I like John Collins for over 0.53s. We are sponsored by BetMGM here today, and they've got a great holiday offer for you because when you make your first deposit at BetMGM and you place your first bet, they're giving you a $25 free bet. Now, this is an offer that's only going to be available for the next week. And here's what I think you guys should be doing. So I just mentioned that John Collins bet before. And when it comes to John Collins, he has the best odds of any book available right now at BetMGM. So take that John Collins bet, you put 10 bucks on it, and then regardless of whether it wins or loses, you're going to get a $25 free bet from BetMGM. But in addition, if that bet does lose, they also give you a risk-free bet on your first bet. So you're going to get lots of good value here. Just bet the money on John Collins. It's my favorite bet available on BetMGM right now. Over 0.53s plus money. If the bet hits, great. It won. You're still going to be getting that $25 free bet. But even if it loses, your first bet is going to get refunded with another free bet over at BetMGM. So take advantage of this opportunity, but just make sure that when you sign up at BetMGM, use the link below because you're going to need that to get credited with your free $25 bet, as well as your risk-free bet if your first bet loses. And then also one more thing to keep in mind is that the $25 free bet offer is only existing for the next week. It is a Christmas slash holiday special offer. But once again, when you sign up, click on the link below. And John Collins is my favorite BetMGM bet for tonight. Next number I'm looking at, it's under nine and a half rebounds for Mason Plumley, and kind of a curiously high line, nine and a half rebounds. If you look at our projections that we have on our site, we actually have Plumley at eight rebounds, which I think is pretty fair. We've got the under nine and a half hitting uh, over 60% of the time. And if you look at the recent games for Plumley, I'm just a little confused why this line is set as high as it is. Last game against the Kings, four rebounds for Plumley. The game before against Denver, nine rebounds. Before that, seven rebounds against the Hawks overall for the season. Plumley is averaging right around nine rebounds per game. So nine and a half boards just seems like a really high number, especially when you consider it's a matchup against a Clippers team that's been playing smaller lineups as of late. Ivica Zubats is questionable. And then even some games that they've played, they've occasionally gotten away from him playing smaller lineups. So 
Plumlee could get run off the court and we could just see the Hornets have to play smaller lineups and go with guys like Kelly Oubre in the front court to match up with some of the small ball the Clippers are playing. So I don't think this is the best spot for, for Plumlee on paper. He's failed to hit this rebound prop pretty significantly in each of the last three games. So I'm taking Mason Plumlee under nine and a half rebounds. Next bet I'm looking at, it's actually another plus money bet on a three point prop from a Hawks player coming back from injury. And that's DeJounte Murray. Now, when we look at Murray this year, he has played a much different role with the Hawks than he did with the Spurs last year, which makes sense. He's playing alongside Trey Young. It's somebody else who really has to split time on the ball with. But here's something that's happened with DeJounte Murray. He's taking a lot more threes this year. As a result, he is averaging 2.1 threes made per game this year compared to 1.4 last year. His over-under for threes is 1.5, and it's plus money on the over. Considering the kind of three-point volume we've seen from DeJounte Murray, I don't think it should be plus money on the one and a half over threes. Kind of similar to what I said with John Collins before. And then also when it comes to DeJounte Murray, zero concern about any kinds of minutes restriction here. So despite the layoff for Murray and the time he missed due to injury, his first game back, he played 38 minutes against the Magic. There's no reason to think this guy isn't going to be playing his normal minutes allotment. So DeJounte Murray overall for the year, playing 36 minutes per game, averaging 2.1 threes. I think that's about a fair expectation for him going forward. And we're getting over one and a half threes at plus money for guys averaging over two threes per game. So I think it's good value here. I've got DeJounte Murray for over one and a half threes. Now for my final bet of the day, I've got Kevin Durant, KD over five and a half rebounds, playing his former team in the Golden State Warriors. And another prop that I just think looks a little bit too low because for the year, Durant is averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds per game. And that's where this five and a half prop really does look quite a bit too low. We've got him projected for nearly seven rebounds in our projections. And then also when it comes to Kevin Durant, he's been over this mark in five of the last seven games. Overall for the year, he's only had a handful of games where he's had five or less rebounds. So I think this is a good spot for Kevin Durant, especially when you consider all of the players that are out for the Warriors because Golden State, Klay Thompson is sitting today. Steph Curry is out. So this is a team that I just don't think is going to really be able to match the, the Brooklyn Nets, certainly not from a fire perspective, but here's what I think the Warriors are going to have to do to try to stay in the game. I think they're going to have to shoot a lot and a lot of threes just to try to make up for the talent difference between them and the Brooklyn Nets. And if those shots aren't falling, that's going to mean a lot of rebounding opportunities for guys in the Nets front court like Kevin Durant. So five and a half rebounds, pretty low prop for a guy who's averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds per game and is already in a favorable spot. I think our right around seven rebound prop projection for him is really fair on the rebounds. So another number I think is value over five and a half rebounds for Kevin Durant. So recapping the bets I have for Wednesday, bigger slate. So I have four of them. It is John Collins over 0.5 threes. That is at plus money. Mason Plumlee under nine and a half rebounds. DeJounte Murray over one and a half threes. Also a plus money bet. And then finally, Kevin Durant over five and a half boards. So that's what I've got action on. But let me know below in the comment section, what are you guys betting? Also, do you have any opinions on my bets? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know that below. But before you leave, big favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck, and I hope you guys win all your bets tonight.